Astrid Lynn. Stunning as always. But why do I feel like something has changed? And why do I feel like you haven't, William? Still selling drugs, or have you finally found a job? I mean... Why not do both? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I got a job over by the Dames Club. At the bar. I'm surprised you managed to get one. Well, I got a little help. How about you? I'm an interior designer. Oh. What? Nothing. Okay. I thought you'd be a stripper. Yeah, because you'd like that for sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway, where are your friends? You know, Grayson, Dana, Zane? It's been three years, Will. We obviously broke apart. I honestly thought you'd leave this town. I want to, but something keeps dragging me back here. Like me? Yeah, because I want to get drugged and stabbed by you again. Hey, at least it wasn't a bullet to your head like your brother. Anyway, you must want something from me. Remember when I broke your arm? I could do that again if you want. Just come closer. That was once. I'm up for round two. But you know what? I'm going to respect your space. Wow, thank you. The reason why I'm here is because I want to find Harry, and I know that he's alive, and you know that too. Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because if you don't, he'll be pissed. He came to my place a while ago, saying that if I needed him, I can go to him. Of course he did. Come on, he's at my place. Hey, Harry, come look what I found. I swear, if it's for Molly, I'm not having it. Ash. Hey, Harry. What's wrong? You know Jasmine? Mark's his little sister. The head of the Shadow Circle, right? Look, I heard everything that happened three years ago. I want you to know I wasn't a part of it. They don't know I'm still alive. You know what they did to Grey, right? Yeah. He told me everything. Not as bad as what Marcus would have done, but I'm sorry about Jason. Let's not bring him up, please. He's not the only one who died. But Gray, he's okay, right? I hope so. Him, Dana, and Zane left this town a few days after graduation. Why well, haven't you left yet? My mom's out of prison. And she really wants to stay here. And I really want to spend more time with her. Does she know? That you framed her for your murder? No. It doesn't matter anyways. That's true. It doesn't matter. Jasmine was gone after we escaped the burning building. And so was the others. I feel like I'm being watched and targeted again. That all happened three years ago. How can you be sure this is all connected? A guy I once dated gave me a hint, saying that they're always watching. I didn't realize what he meant at first until it all hit me. I'm just hoping this isn't connected. Okay. A, a guy? What guy? His name's Ace Manning. Nope. Doesn't ring any bells. Are uh, you still seeing him? Harry. Okay, uh, just... I know you can look after yourself. Just, you know... 
actually don't answer that. We stopped seeing each other after I got the hint, and I decided to distance myself from him. Good. Okay, what I, what I mean is that if you still feel unsafe at your place, you could just stay here. Isn't this Will's apartment? I don't think he'll be happy with me staying here for more than an hour. Plus, I don't feel safe around him after what he did to Claire. You're right, Princess. I won't be happy. Claire knew her fate, and that was death. What you did to Claire was fucked and unnecessary. I was ordered to kill her. It's in the past. Why do you care? Well, how long have you been eavesdropping? <laughs> I wasn't eavesdropping. You are both talking really loud, and these walls aren't exactly soundproof. Great. So you heard everything. Mm-hmm. So you're being watched. If you're trying to be helpful, you're not helping. What if I said, I know him? Like, actually know Ace. You know him? He was a client, and also a friend. Does he know Jasmine? Not that I know of. And relax, Jasmine isn't in town anymore. How do you know? It's probably got someone spying on her. I just wanted to make sure she isn't causing any more chaos here. Anyway, she left town about three years ago. I don't know where she is now. Okay, now that Jasmine's out of the picture, what do you know about Ace? He's a doctor, which is strange because his last request to me was at the end of last year. I don't know why he wanted drugs from me when he could have got them from the hospital. What kind of drugs? Ketamine, atropine, and heroin. Why would he need those? I don't know. Hopefully not to drug anyone, which would be the answer. He's probably ran out by now. You didn't take anything while you were with him, right? No, and I'm glad I didn't. Ace, what's up? I wanted to check up on you since I heard your father died. Yeah, it's... It's fine. I'm fine. I hope you are, cause... You know, it's all right, yeah. Believe me, I'm fine. So what are you up to? Nothing exciting, just watching TV. Hey, are you selling smack by any chance? No, I... I stopped selling once I ran out. Come on, you've got to have some more stash at your place. When I say I don't have any on me, I don't. Sorry, man. Oh, okay. It's fine. I understand. Shit! Ace, are you alright? I'm fine. I just... I've got to go. Doesn't sound alright. Well, I had no idea. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting tired. Can we... Can we do this tomorrow? Well... Did you know about his dad? He hardly talks about it. I just found out recently. I feel like I should leave. No, no. Just stay, just for tonight. This is a guest room, so you'll be welcome. You sure he doesn't mind? I'm sure. Fine. Okay, I'll stay here for one night. One night only. Okay. Good, because if you left, I wouldn't let you leave alone. I know you wouldn't. Good night, Harry. Good night, Ash.
Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. What's wrong? I don't regret framing your mother. Hello again? Missed me? Why are you here? Oh honey, I'm not actually here. But you must be wondering where I am. Maybe I'm tracking down your friends, especially Grayson. Maybe I already did, and I actually finished the job. I swear, Jasmine, I will. What? Astrid, what are you going to do? You have nothing to threaten me with. I'm not with Will, and if I'm being honest, I was only using him to send you death threats. It'll all be over soon. Just enjoy the show. I'm gonna make this even worse than what I did to Claire. You stayed. I could leave. You could. But I wouldn't go out at this time. Couldn't sleep. I don't like bad dream. Wanna talk about it? It's just some past events. 
Bad memories. I'm sorry. For what? For everything. For everything. Drugging you. Torturing you. Disrespecting you. I'm sorry for exposing your secrets to your friends in front of you. They weren't really my friends. Oh. Well, that just makes it worse. Nah. After a while, I just didn't care. Why are you apologizing now? Because I realized it's exhausting to hold a grudge against you. I guess that's a good enough reason. I'm sorry for breaking your arm. You didn't really need to apologize for that. It was kind of deserved. Never thought you'd say that. Took me a while. I'm sorry about your dad. And I completely understand if you want me to shut up now. It's alright. It's just been stuck in my head for a while, so I feel like if I talk about it, I could get it off my chest. But I never talk about this to anyone. At 10 years old, my parents got a divorce and that really screwed my dad over. I didn't realize how bad he was handling things until at 16 I found him abusing drugs. So I stole them and went my own way. That's why you were selling those drugs. Three months ago, I found out he overdosed on heroin. I thought I could save him from the drugs. I should have been there for him. Don't be so hard on yourself. He tried and that's all that matters. It's hard not to. I know. I know. You're not going to. No. No, this stays between us. From Pennsylvania, North America correspondent Barbara Miller reports. Wait. No. You know what? I shouldn't be surprised since Marcus sent you both to murder someone well known and steal from them. To be fair, I did a pretty good job being stealthy. Yeah, but you almost ended up dying again. Wait, what? Well, I thought we were going to mention that. Oops, the words just slipped. How many security guards were there? Ten. Or was it 15? Didn't like my plan. Yours was bad. Like you can do better? I can. But I prefer to go straight into the action and steal the money. You left me fighting those guards. Don't be dramatic. I didn't leave you. I would never. Okay, I did once. But hey, you're still alive thanks to my sister. Once again, you're welcome. Barely. Okay, Harry. Stop being dramatic. Will, do better. Like you can talk, Astrid. You stabbed me. And Will, just a bad team player. Trying my best, yeah? Okay, enough is enough. 
Let's stop arguing about the past, and can we just talk about the phone call with Ace? He sounded frustrated, like, like he was working on something. Knowing this town is full of crazed psychos, I doubt it's something good. He does have a lot of ketamine, right? Maybe he's using that to dope women. How did you come up with that theory? I've seen a lot of horror movies in my day with serial killer doctors. <laughs> he's also been talking a lot about families and girls in the past. Maybe he wishes he had one of his own? Or maybe he's out for revenge? On who? On Astrid. Ah, oh, yes. Everyone's out to get me. Did he show you anything, you know, that's a little bit strange on your date? He drew me a picture. I guess that's his side hobby. Cool. Now I'll see your doctor's an artist too. Yeah, it could be a clue. So what's the plan? We can't just let him get away with this. No, you're right. Uh, me and Will will go check out his house for evidence. And Ash, we need you to distract him. Maybe another date? Oh, of course. We'll be quick. Please do. I just had enough of the guys in this town. We'll call you when we're done. Move. Okay, glad you didn't smash the window open. That was plan C, actually. What was plan B? Kick the door open. Hardly necessary anymore? Well, found something. Hey. You called. I just wanted to talk since we haven't talked in a while. Our last day was two weeks ago and then you ignored me. I know, and I'm sorry. I just needed time to think and, you know, I had stuff to worry about like work and studies. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't either. So, what have you been up to? I've been busy with some clients. Must be tiring. It is pretty frustrating as well. Why is that? You know, sometimes I just don't know what they want. I can't help them. But you can. You just gotta listen to them carefully and not think what's going on in your head. Maybe they just want to be free or maybe you can't help them. Where are you going with this? Honestly, I don't know. Just 
trying to make you think? Well, you are making me think right now. What do you think's under the sheets? A body. Hopefully not with Astrid's face on it. <laughs> Man, don't jinx. <laughs> Jinxed it. We've seen way worse than this, right? I don't know, man. It's creeping me out. I don't know how you got her face so... so realistic. He even got the hair. She's not even alive. So what's he trying to do? Hang the body up as a decoration? <sighs> Look, I'd... I'd say he probably drugged her to keep her unconscious while he was stitching her face. Probably overdosed her before he left. Wow. You should be a cop. <laughs> I think having a dad as a cop's enough. So we're gonna show this to your dad? No, man. You're gonna show it to my dad. I'm dead, remember? He needs to know that you're still alive. You'll ask questions, man. I can't. Then when will you? He knows I used to sell the drugs. And did he arrest you? No. And he's not gonna arrest you either. You're his son. And besides, he wouldn't want to ruin his reputation based on what you did in the past. Look, let's just, let's just get out of here. Let's get some evidence and we'll think about this later. You mean you're going to think about this? Oh shoot, I, um, I have to go. I have to meet up with a friend. Okay, I'll see you soon. Is that me? It's a body with your face on it. I don't know how I feel about this. It felt... wrong to see it in person. Did she come back to life and grab your arm? I think you've just described my nightmare for tonight. He okay? I told him he should bring the evidence to his dad. Why can't you? Because he'd arrest me if he found out that I sold the drugs. Fine then. I'm going to go talk to Harry. I can't do this. I, I don't know what to say to him. My dad told me that my mom was going to be released from prison. I didn't know what to say to her either. I thought she changed. That she wasn't going to be the same mother that would love me endlessly. But I was wrong. She was still the same. And when I saw her, I knew what to say. You will too. What if he asked questions? I'd have to lie. Don't lie to him. He'll understand. Sure, he'll be angry and upset, but that doesn't make him love you less. He'll protect you, and he won't arrest you. 
You don't have to tell him about the past. You can just show him the evidence and tell him Ace's address. Fine. I'll go. No. I'll go. Supposed to be in Watford? No. Dad, it's me, Harry. Harry? How are you alive? Long story. Can't come in. Yeah. Look, I know you have a lot of questions. But I just came here to show you that something you have to take a look at. What's in the phone? It's proof that Ace Manning is overdosing young women. Is that Astrid? No, but... It is a dead girl with Astrid's face. She's still alive, but Ace just has an unhealthy obsession with Astrid's look. There's more evidence. You just have to go to the house. Look, I gotta go. Look, it's best. No one knows I'm still alive. Son. Just want to tell you that I'm very proud of you. And I'm glad that you're still alive. Your mother would too. Look, I can't keep you from this anymore. What do you mean? that. Sure you did. And you know what you have? A baby scar. Oh, wanna kiss it better? Now who thought it was a nice night to try and kill me? Sophie? Never thought I'd see your face here again. Tell me, why have you come here to kill me? Jasmine, she sent me. Jasmine's out of town and she sent you? She's here. She's in town. So you're the one that fired an arrow through the electricity box. The neon blue mask. I wouldn't have known it was you if I didn't pay close attention to the arrow. You were going to kill my friends and my brother. I wasn't planning on it. Well, maybe I was planning for your brother to die, but he's alive and well at university. The pain and trauma you put my friends through, was it worth it? Does it make you feel better? Watching people in pain makes me 
feel powerful. It entertains me. Anyway, your dad seemed to take the news well. So you were watching me? A little bit. I guess I missed you. Yeah, well, no one misses you, okay? Ouch. Why are you back? Relax, Harry. I'm not here to cause any chaos. Or am I? I don't know, but right now I'm not planning anything. Bullshit. You think I'm lying? I know. You wouldn't come here without a plan. Can't you just believe that I'm here to see how you're going? It's been so long, Harry. Anyway, if I had a plan, I wouldn't be meeting you here. So how long are you in town? I don't know. A few days? Perfect. I gotta go. Harry, wait. Please. I have some information about Ace that no one knows. What information? So how did it go with your dad? Okay. He's upset, but he understands. He's not going to tell anyone I'm still alive, which is good. He's going to head to Ace's house to see if he can get him arrested. Good. Will had a little visit with an old shadow member last night. A shadow member? Sophie or Axel? Sophie. Is he hurt? She left a scar. You guys didn't kill her, right? No. We patched her up after I stabbed her. Okay, good. Jasmine's back. Yeah, I heard. We had a chat last night, actually. She told me something I didn't know about Ace. What is that? Apparently he sells bodies in the dark web as human dolls. He's real good at hiding things, doesn't want people to know. So he knew you were going to go to his house with Will? Maybe. So then that means he's going to move his stuff to another location or get himself arrested? Or that's not everything. So to ruin the day, but we have a problem. What is it? Ace has your dad. Not at the senior's body? You saw a body with Harrison's face on it. It looks so realistic. Too bad it wasn't me. But someone definitely got hired to do it. You know, I studied and researched so hard on how I could replicate and make a, a similar but slightly different creation. These human dolls, as I call them, and sell them to the dark world. Now I'm sure you'll see my creation of Astrid. Isn't she beautiful? Though it is very upsetting that Harrison and Will stole Astrid from me. You know, I could have brought a Will's dad to keep you company. Too bad he's dead. And so is his mum. Poor thing doesn't even know yet. And what about you? What about your wife? Is she still alive? Or did she run away because she got sick of you? How the hell are you sick son of a bitch? <coughs> hmm. Sounds like a vacation.
Guys, I think I've run the start of the blood trail. Why the face, Ash? My heels are ruined. No, it just adds colour to them. No, it's not. Pay attention. We have bigger problems to deal with right now. Okay, guys, he has to bring our dad in here. Stole his gun, shot him. Yeah, well, where is he now? Okay, Will. Ace used to buy drugs from you, right? What about some kind of client book, or like, like an address book? Maybe my dad's at one of those locations. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't need to check the book. Knowing Ace, he likes to work somewhere dark and secluded. And I think I've been there before. Okay, well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Hold on. How did you know that there was a gun behind the TV? I was friends with Ace, remember? I used to hide my guns at his place. Now let's go before Harry loses his father too. I guess it's your turn now. You get any closer, I'll blow his head off. Ace, put the gun down. Why should I? You choose their side over mine? That's not true. I will always choose you. I just came with them because I wanted to find you. You weren't at your house and I got scared. And I'm just glad you're okay. You're lying. You always have been. I would never lie to you. Ace, look at me. I love you. I always have and I always will. You're so talented and I just wish so many people can see how amazing your creations are. You did me so perfectly. Fuck this man, I'm not taking this anymore. Let it go! Not sure let my dad go. I'm sick and tired of this little brat talking about you like you're something special. So what's it gonna be, Ace? He's obviously Tempest's killer and I won't stop him. So if you kill his dad, your girl goes bye-bye. Okay, fine. Now let it go. Daddy, okay? I'll be fine. Okay. Ah! I know you're going to say it, you shit. Told you you did need your gun. The gun was a bad plan. How's my dad? He's okay. He's in the hospital. So is Ace. He's going to be rested shortly. <laughs> That's great news. You don't seem happy. That's because you woke me up. How are you? I'm good for once. How about you? I'm alright. Now that Dad's better, I can relax a little bit. You know, he told me that my performance was the best. Didn't Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that he said that to me. You were great too. Thanks. So, how's your mother? She's good and safe. I'm just glad that Ace didn't decide to go and hurt her. 
So that's it. It's over. God, no. We still have Jasmine to worry about. I don't think we have to worry about her. Don't do that. Do what? Do the she's not gonna be a problem because she said so. <laughs> well, I just think that we should celebrate that he's finally getting what he deserves. You're right. I know I am. So, what are you up to later? I was planning on spending time with my family, but who knows? Maybe we can plan something soon. So what's the date? I was thinking that we can go to the dance club, get wasted, and make Will take care of us. You know what? I like that idea. Good. Now let's annoy the hell out of him. Nice to see you again, William. <laughs> 